Hi, I'm Steve. In case you missed the first two episodes of this, How to Fix Your PlayStation, uh, we just got done step one and step two of How to Fix Your PlayStation when it's not reading a disc. Uh, in case you missed it, step one was saturate the PlayStation with Jigaloo. Jigaloo is a great product, lubes, cleans, makes it sticky all at the same time. You can't go wrong with Jigaloo. So, first thing we did with our PlayStation wouldn't read a disc, but we took off all the unnecessary parts, the case, the buttons, you name it. There was a couple things that were dangling by <laughs> pieces of foil, so just yank those off. Obviously, if it, if it is attached by something this insignificant, it probably is just going to make the damn, the damn thing slower. So, uh, step one, saturate with Jigaloo. You can see right here, there's a, a small eye. This is a laser disc reader right here. That's where it actually shoots the laser hotter than the sun onto the disc and picks up data so that you can play your PlayStation. Well, we thought, well, maybe it's not reading, so we sprayed this with Jigaloo, about half a can, <laughs> and then the rest of the PlayStation, especially these parts back here, these shiny parts are like Jigaloo candy. You want to make sure you saturate that, saturate this area with Jigaloo, and then if you notice back here, the fan is kind of like a gateway to the CPU, really, really spray that with Jigaloo. Uh, the sad part is, you know, step one didn't work, so we went to plan B. Uh, so, which is step two of our process of how to fix your PlayStation, and that is rinse, <laughs> rinse it in water. Okay? So, it sounds crazy, but, you know, the Jigaloo, I think, got us closer to working, uh, having a working PlayStation, so when that didn't work, going to step two, we actually just took the whole PlayStation, just like this, put it into the sink, ran the faucet on, full blast, hot water, make sure we got into all the holes, all the working parts. One, to get the Jigaloo out. Two, to make sure that all the electric connections were being linked. Uh, sad part is that didn't work either. So now we're here at step three. Now, step three is probably for the more advanced PlayStation users, uh, not for the faint of heart. I mean, it's going to take some very large tools. It's going to probably take some firepower, uh, possibly a little bit of alcohol, and instead of Jigaloo, we're actually going to use silicone lubricant. This is pure. This is an actual element of the earth. I mean, we're, we're, we're going hardcore now. So, in step one, in step two, you can see we use some nice little screwdrivers, fine heads, small dainty things to be delicate with the PlayStation. Well, we don't need those anymore. Step three in how to fix your PlayStation, I recommend a very heavy duty, minimum 20 ounce framing hammer. This is an S-Swing 23 ounce framing hammer, nice claw on the back, capable of ripping out nails. Uh, what I'm most worried about is this part right here. This is why the PlayStation is working. Okay. Before you do it, you got to do some minor prep work. Right here I have 3M adhesive and wax remover. It's, it's apparent and obvious that there's probably some adhesive and wax. All of the above probably built up in the PlayStation. We're going to remove it. Okay. Don't need the Jigaloo little bit of silicone lubricant right there and this is going to start the prep work. Step two, nice little blowtorch. And this is called power, power soldering. Okay, as you can see right now the PlayStation <laughs> appears to be on fire. <coughs> Ooh, plastic smells horrible. Now, this might be alarming to most people, setting your PlayStation on fire, but actually cleaning off the laser disc reader, <coughs> and I'm melting the strip of plastic behind it. 
The thin strip of plastic behind it, all that does is keep the PlayStation closed and keeps it from opening. We really don't care about this thing ever opening again. We just want it closed and to read our disc so Jerry and I can play a game of Gran Turismo 3. Okay, so right now when it gets to the point where the smoke is turning deep black and you have green flames coming out of the PlayStation, this is where you're going to want to get out your wrench. Okay, I recommend a large adjustable crescent wrench, uh, something preferably with a good grip handle, uh, because right now it's going to get ugly. I mean, we need to get underneath this disc reader to find out what the root cause of the problem is. So, what I'm going to do with this is because it's hotter than hell right now, you can see this melting plastic on, I need to use this wrench to help me pry open this part of the PlayStation. Okay, <laughs> perfect. That's what we were trying to do. Couldn't, couldn't have done that if it wasn't flaming hot. Okay, now that we've got to that part, we now need to pry off the motor that spins the disc. Guys, don't worry about being gentle. You can always get a new one. Perfect. Okay. We've exposed the problem. As you can see here, there's a thin piece of plastic that appears to have been broken over just <laughs> <laughs> wear and tear over the life of my PlayStation. Not disappointed. This thing's about 10 years old at the minimum. And it looks like the plastic was broken. So all I'm going to have to do now is go to my PlayStation dealer, tell them that I need part 3 slash 1 CD SSC 28C. <laughs> and I will be back playing my PlayStation 2 as usual. You know, while we're here, you know, I've got, I've got my PlayStation apart. I think I should probably take advantage of this and uh, probably lube it up, make sure that when it goes back together, everything works smoothly and I don't have any more problems. So that's why I'm going to use a silicone spray. Get it in all those little holes, especially that piece of film that we are not going to use again. We do not want it to get tangled up in any other parts. So silicone spray, a little bit of heat. That, now, guys, this isn't going to do anything except just burn the excess off. Um, while I'm here, I'm also thinking I don't need this. It seems like a very insignificant part. Last time I checked, PlayStations don't run off of batteries, so go ahead and throw that away. It's just taking on weight. Um, we're going to let this fire burn out. We're going to go back inside. I'm going to get my PlayStation put all back together. And uh, we're going to go see if it works. Alright guys, great news is we got the PlayStation back together. Uh, feeling really good about this. We did some major over overhauls. Uh, inside and out, clean up the box, jigalooed it, set it on fire, ripped out the guts, cut a few cords that didn't need to be there. We're going to try uh, the game real quick, see if this thing works. TV on. Take my wireless remote here. And if I got something on the screen, it means we're good to go. Guys, I think we're in business. This is a game I was I've been trying to play all day. PlayStation is back together. I'll just pause this game. I'm Steve, and that's how you fix your PlayStation when it doesn't read a disc. <laughs>